I kind of decided around that time, it was the end of the second season, and I thought, you know, I've, I've been in the business already uh, 10 or 12 years or something since uh, Circus Boy in the 50s, and my father and mother were both in the business, and I'd been around it for a long, long time. So by the time of the monkeys, I was already, like I say, in the business for years. And I just thought, you know, I, I was always kind of interested in the behind the scenes, because on a typical show, uh, you spend most of your time off camera, you know. Uh, only a few minutes a day is actually in front of the camera. The rest of it, you're wandering around. And um, I would get involved in, you know, the lighting and the special effects and everything going on behind the scenes. So by the time of the monkeys, I thought, that's kind of what I want to do in that direction. I directed that episode and started a little production company and directed uh, commercials and, 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 and some documentaries and stuff. And then <clears throat> I went to England, actually, with Davy to do a play called The Point, Harry Nielsen musical in London. And I brought my reels of directing stuff over. I would married an English a girl so I could work over there. And I got a gig directing at the BBC. Uh, and then uh, decided to stay in England. And that's where the majority of the bulk of my directing uh, career was. Uh, mostly uh, television, sitcoms, multiple camera sitcoms, films, commercials, music videos. And uh, uh, I did that for nearly 15 years. And that was the, the uh, essentially my directing career was, was over there. And I came back over here and then did uh, a couple of shows over here, Boy Meets World and Pacific Blue and a, and a couple of things. And then as far as the theater, I started very late doing that. Um, and it was musical theater mostly. And I, um, I got lucky, got a couple of uh, really great uh, shows on Broadway, Grease and uh, Aida, the Elton John, Tim Rice musical. Um, let's see what else. Uh, funny, funny thing happened on the way to the Forum in Canada and um, Hairspray in London in the West End, and Pippin, the national tour of Pippin. And <clears throat> uh, I love that. I love doing musical theater. I'd love to do more. Do you have any particular roles that are dream roles for you that you haven't gotten to do yet? Yeah, I'd love to do uh, The Wiz and do Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to play Dorothy, but I think that's probably a bit of a stretch. <laughs> We can call some people, though. We can make it happen. <laughs> now, speaking of, of dream things, are, you've had incredible opportunities to work with some of the biggest names ever all over the place for always. But is there anyone that you still hadn't had the opportunity to work with that you would like to? Like to work with? Mm -hmm. um, In any capacity. Um, well, good question. Um, uh, yeah. Um, uh, I'm not sure. I, I, I've never thought of it like that. I mean, when I um, <clears throat> consider doing a project, it's always based on the material, uh, the script or the, 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 the writing of the song, let's say, or, uh, you know, it's always the material, not necessarily the people that are, that are involved, because very often you don't even know who's going to be involved until you, you get cast or, you know, you start working on it. And uh, so I'm not sure I could uh, answer that. I wonder if we, if we phrase it in a different way. That let's say X person comes to you and says, Mickey, I've got this wild idea and you're the only person I want to work with on it. No matter what they bring to you material-wise, you would say yes. Is there any person no. that fits that bill? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's all, always about the material. You know, not necessarily, <laughs> not necessarily who, like I say, not necessarily who's involved. Um, <clears throat> it's always about, for me, it's always about the material first. Uh, like I say, like the script or the song or the direct. If it's a, in other words, I'd rather be directing a great 
episode of television than acting in a crappy play or vice versa.